Hey guys and girls, I'm Mabazanoki, and in this video, I'm going to be going over Omelar's moves. But before that, as per usual, his two list or two placements, I guess. He is Class B, and he is the eighth character. That's good, I guess. Anyway, now on to Omelar's. Well, actually, before that, I gotta mention something a bit special about Omelar. He has five types of Pikmin that he can get out of the ground, I guess. Right now I have two purples and one red. The red Pikmin, if I remember, is fire retardant. Um, can stand up to pretty much all the explosions. Most damage of aerials, second highest knockback. Um, mediocre grab range, weak throws, travels straight down when straight when thrown, deals fire damage, immune to fire and explosions, drowns instantly, uh, great meteor smash, and more likely to, to appear from cloth floors. So, all of these Pikmin have kind of, I guess, personalities or something, I guess, or traits. Um, we can also have a yellow Pikmin with a slightly larger attack range. Um, second last grab range. I don't know. It has good throws and um, can be thrown higher and slower. Use electrical damage, immune to electrical attacks. Um, Great Meteor Smash again, and it's more likely to appear from metallic floors. You can also have a blue Pikmin, which has the highest attack range, has the biggest grab range, and is best for throws, pretty much. Well, grabs. Um, Charge straight from thrown, really durable, um, immune to water attacks, can swim forever, and does not drown. Uh, what else? And it's one of the best Pikmin to use for the Pikmin chain, and it's more likely to appear from water based floors like ice or clouds. Um, you can also have the purple Pikmin, which I have. Um, it has the greatest knockback, small attack range, large attack speed, but really good at attacking. Um, bad trajectory when thrown and it doesn't latch on when thrown slow big easy to hit deals darkness damage um, very powerful in the pitman chain if he's the last in line um, capable of knocking the opponent off the ledge deals great damage excellent up throw capability good meal smash um, more likely to appear from certain metal or solid floors. And finally, White Pikmin. Uh, they have pummel damage, twice as high as other Pikmin. Um, Pikmin throw damage is also higher, flies very far from thrown, faster than other Pikmin, deals poison damage, lowers half of all Pikmin, easily killed, normal attacks, smash attacks with other damage, not back, blah blah blah. blah. Good start smash combo at low. Percentages and has a slight meter smash, and apparently doesn't say that's more likely to appear from something. Anyway, after that really long winded explanation of all the Pikmin, and actually, I should also mention that they can also become flowers like they have now over time, their attack and knockback will increase better will just increase. Anyway, now after that, on to Omelar's moves. His neutral B move is the Pikmin Clock. And you uh this is pretty much what you want to do if you die. Omelar's B side move is Pikmin throw. Like that. The Pikmin latches onto the opponent and does damage. One of the best, I think it's one of the best um, 
projectile moves in the game, apparently. Omar's up smash, I mean up B, is the Pikmin chain, and his recovery move, which is a teller. Um, like I said in the Pikmin thing, purples are one of the best used, as well as blues. And his down is the Pikmin whistle, which pretty much has no use whatsoever. Anyway, Omelar's combo move is that, so. Omelar's side attack, side tilt A, is that. One of the few moves that doesn't include Pikmin is up tilt, is that. And once again, doesn't include Pikmin. That. And it's down tilt. Once again, does not need Pikmin either. Omelar's smash side is that. Quite, really quite powerful depending on what Pikmin you have. 25 damage with a purple. His up smash is that. Once again, powerful with uh, purples. And his down smash. Two Pikmin on both sides. And does, once again, good damage. Now, Omar's grabs his front grab. Is that. Like so. His up grab. He slams onto the floor. That is his up grab. His down grab is that, and is actually very useful because it can chain grab like so. Um, yeah. And his back grab is that. Now, Omar's aerials. His neutral A aerial. Once again, does not include Pikmin. Is just a spin like so. His front aerial is that. He, he like pummels the opponent with a Pikmin. Like so. His back aerial is that. It's once again a pummeling with Pikmin. And his up aerial, he has um, a Pikmin above him and it spins and does damage. And his down aerial is that. With a meteor effect as well. That, that is the meteor smash. So yeah, it does have Meteor Smash abilities. Anyway, now, Smash Ball time. There you go. So, Omla's final smash. End of the day. He takes up on his rocket and the creatures of the light eat at him and then they and then he comes crashing back to the earth and he can kill. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching from me, Abezanuki. Goodbye.